Hello friends, my name is Dr. Rice and welcome back to another COVID-19 video. Today we'll be discussing about one of the newer vaccines that recently got approval by the World Health Organization, Sinovac or Coronavac. Coronavac is a COVID-19 vaccine that has been developed by China. What makes Coronavac sort of unique compared to all of the other COVID-19 vaccines up until this point is the mechanism by which it provides immunity. The Coronavac uses a method involving what is known as an inactivated virus. And this is actually one of the traditional methods that has been used to create a lot of the vaccines we have today. In fact, this is the same mechanism of immunity that was first used in order to develop the polio vaccine back in the 1950s, colloquially referred to as the Salk vaccine for those of you who are familiar. Basically, this technology has been around for a long time and has been extensively studied and researched, unlike some of the newer mRNA vaccines of Pfizer and Moderna, as well as the recombinant vector vaccine of Johnson & Johnson. So what is a vaccine with an inactivated virus and how does it work? Essentially, an inactivated virus is a virus that can't replicate or cause an infection once introduced into the body. In the context of Coronavac, COVID-19 is given something called beta propriolactone, which is a fancy molecule that doesn't allow COVID-19 to replicate, effectively killing the virus. So a bunch of COVID-19 that is inactivated is present in the Coronavac. And once this is introduced into your body, it ultimately allows your body to create antibodies toward the COVID-19. This way, if you actually get the real coronavirus, your body already has antibodies bodies present in order to kill COVID-19 before it can cause any serious harm. So looking at the efficacy of Coronavac, it's been a little difficult to find an exact value based on its phase three clinical trials, but it's been reported to have an overall efficacy of about 51 to 75%. This is relatively close to the overall efficacy of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. One thing that's really interesting about the Coronavac is based off of its phase one and two clinical trials, it essentially had no adverse reactions. These are things like sore throat, fever, headache, arm pain, etc. This is in contrast to some of the more popular vaccines like Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson, where some adverse effects are almost guaranteed. So just going over some major similarities and differences between Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and the new Coronavac. Coronavac is two doses spaced about 28 days apart, similar to the timing of the Moderna vaccine. It's able to be stored at regular refrigerator temperatures, so it would allow for mass production and distribution. If you'd like to know even more information about which vaccine is right for you, I'll put a link to my video here in the top corner as well as in the description below. Also, if you'd like to know even more information about COVID-19, I'll put a link to those videos in my description. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video, and I will see you all on the next one.